on, let's just get in our sleeping bags and get this night over with. Carbon, what the hell is that? It's my sleeping bag, isn't it cool? No, it's not cool. What's up everybody, Man Bear Cow here, back again with another video teaching you how to get the sleeping bag in phase two of World of Warcraft Classic Season of Discovery. This is basically a six part quest chain that will have you running all over Azeroth and at the end, you will get your very own cozy sleeping bag, an item which will give you a 1% experience bonus if you spend one minute sleeping in the bag. And this will stack up to three times for a maximum of 3%. Now, this quest is pretty simple and can be easily soloed at level 25. And there really aren't any mobs that you have to kill in order to get the items. But if you're on a PvP server, you may run into some difficulty from the opposing faction. My experience was mixed. In some parts of my questline, Horde and Alliance got along peacefully, calling a truce for mutual benefit. I mean, we all want to get our sleeping bags, right? No need to make things more difficult. Well, in other parts of the questline, the opposing faction did say, yes, I will make it more difficult. So take warning and be careful on your journey. If you are a Horde character, you will begin this quest in the Barrens. Follow the road south from Camp Tarajo until you find the remnants of a destroyed tower just north of the junction in the road heading towards Dust Wallow Marsh. Here you will find burnt out remains. Right click the remains and pick up the quest and that note you found. The quest says, the faint radiance of the embers darkening, you stumble across the remnants of a recent fire. Amidst the scattered provisions, you discover a blistered note. Not all that burns is lost. Find the twin land, find the place. Next, we will travel to Westfall. The best way to get here as a horde character is to swim north from Gromgol village. We will head to Alexton farmstead northwest of the dead mine. In the northwest portion of the farm, we will find another pile of burnt out remains. Here you will turn in the quest and that note you found, which says, as you stumble upon the remnants of yet another charred corpse, your gaze falls upon a message secured to a wooden plank. Then you will pick up the quest, Stepping Stones. The note begins, Mission said they were both making deliveries for New Plague. Looks like simple apothecary accidents to me. Find my cozy spot in the mountains between the Barrens and Desolus if you want a safe place to talk. Now, if you are an Alliance character, your portion of this quest chain will begin here at Alexan Farmstead. You will then head to the Barrens to pick up the next part of the quest. So both locations are the same for Horde or Alliance, but the order you will travel to them will be reversed. Once you've picked up the quest Stepping Stones, we will head to Stone Talon Mountains, just north of Sunrock Retreat. As we climb the hill just north of Webwinder Path, you will see a faint trail to your left heading up into the mountainside. Follow this trail until you find a small encampment. On a crate next to the tent, you will find a pocket litter. Backcountry adventurers and mercenaries alike undoubtedly make camp here. The corner of a note flapping in the breeze catches your eye and you reach for it. Complete the quest and pick up Scramble. Not so bad, eh? Since you're reading this, it means my stash is still there. Take a hundred paces due north and don't break your ankles going down the steep cliffside. There should be enough to keep you going. Head north over the mountain ridge and a short distance away, you will find a mound of dirt. Click on the mound of dirt to complete the quest scramble. You pull a messenger bag out of the ground Stuffed in with the supplies is a dirty parchment. Pick up the quest, Wet Job. Always like to keep a reserve stash nearby in the off chance I've got a flea in a hurry. 
The face of this mountainside is so beautiful, you might say it was carved from the waterfalls of time. That's the eagle's nest. That's what you're looking for. Accept the quest, and now we will head to Loch Modan. Loch Modan can be tricky to reach if you are a horde character. You will likely need to head to Tarin Mill in Hillsbrad Foothills. If you're a horde character, you may want to consider setting your hearthstone to Tarin Mill right now because you will be returning here in the next step of the quest chain. Then you will run east through Arathai Highlands until following the road south through the wetlands. At the south end of the wetlands, you will enter a tunnel called Dun Al Ghaz. Follow this pathway as it winds up the hill and through a couple of tunnels until you find yourself in Loch Modan. After you exit the tunnel, you will immediately head east. Head to the far end of the Loch Modan Dam. You will need to jump down to a ledge facing the wetlands. Here you will find a carved figurine. Dwarven engineering, always a marvel. Turn in wet job. Pick up eagle's fist. And I know there's a dirty joke in there, but uh, we won't go there today. You find a carefully folded letter inside of the toolbox. Imagining a voice speaking, you read, From here, with the right tools, you call the shots. Great place to launch a parachute glider. My loyalty to the eagle and the fist requires distance in order to serve them best. This barricade has had better days. Like the old kingdoms, it once defended, but I'll never abandon it. Up next, we will head to Thoradin's Wall, which runs along the border of Hillsbrad Foothills and Rothy Highland. Head to the north end of the wall. You will find a broken section, and on the Hillsbrad Foothill side, you will find an upturned cart that you can climb on to get onto the wall. And this part can be a little tricky, but you'll want to stand on the highest portion of the cart and then jump onto the corner of the ledge climb further up the wall and then head through a corridor coming out on a ledge on the other side. To your right against the wall you will find a messenger bag. A campfire is newly fed with wood but signs of a quick departure are evident. Turn in Eagle's Fist and pick up This Must Be The Place which says So I've decided to take my work back underground to stop it falling into the wrong hands. The paper is torn just long enough to fit the message. You aren't sure if these are the last words you'll read from the author, or if they're a clue to the next hideout. An inadequately secured sleeping bag is unrolling itself onto your feet. Whoever was here, you just missed them. Accept the quest, which will allow you to pick up the hastily rolled up satchel which is already at your feet. Heavy canvas is rolled over assorted equipment. You help yourself to the pack. And there you have it, your very own cozy sleeping bag. Oh look at you all cute and cozy. Sleep in the bag for up to 3 minutes to collect a 3% experience buff. You will also collect some student fodder biscuits. Each one will give you 5 bars of rested experience bonus. You'll collect 5 when you get your sleeping bag to go along with 3 more that you received earlier in the quest line for a total of 8, which equals about 2 levels worth of rested experience bonus. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. If you found this guide helpful, show us some love down below in the comments. And you might want to consider joining the channel with a monthly membership. Memberships begin at $2.99 and are a great way to show your support. You can also earn exclusive perks like early access to videos before they're released to the general public. And in phase 2, we're definitely going to have a lot more runes to discover. And you're going to want to follow this channel so we can help you find those runes. So do yourself a favor and smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we release new videos. This is Man Bear Cow signing out, saying thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.